So let's take a look at how you can use GCC's C++ compiler to compile a C++ source file to executable. Okay. So to check G++, which is part of GCC, we can first check out whether we have GCC properly installed or not. If not, make sure to download GCC for Windows and have both C and C++ compiler installed on your machine. Okay. You can verify GCC by typing GCC-V or GCC version. Sorry. Okay. So this is double dash version and you get the message which version is installed on your system. Okay. Now to check whether we have G++ installed, we can simply type in G++ which is C++ compiler and if you get this message, you know input files, that means G++ is installed. Okay. Next thing would be to open text editor such as Visual Studio Code and create a file. Let's name it demo.cpp okay. and here you can see that I have it in the files directory and my command from smart is also on the same line so that you can easily type the code and then execute it. So let's start hash encode okay and here we will use our stream I don't have to type dot h because C takes care of that then use integer main integer rc and then character argui okay inside this I'm going to use standard cout and we will say something like tunami g++ compiling file source function okay and then we can use slash n okay and then I'm going to use a return zero okay and then we will come out of the text editor open command prompt and type in g++ then demo.cpp then dash o and then let's name this executable file as demos. So I'm adding S extra and I'm going to hit enter to see whether it compiles without errors and create demos executable. Okay, as you can see, if you get blank prompt, that means your demos executable is created. Simply type in demos hit enter and that should output the image plus plus compiling source file okay if you see message like this that means you have managed to compile from g plus plus compiler to executable okay so you get the idea how to compile c plus plus program with gcc's c plus plus compiler into executable